afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Seattle Mariners and the Tampa Bay Rays. Digging in, D. Gordon, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And here's a curveball that just about got away as it misses inside for a ball. You know, we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different look. Got him swinging on the fastball there. D. Gordon becomes the first out of the inning. And he fouls this one off. And he'll lay off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Mariners center fielder now with a full count three balls and two strikes tried to backdoor him and lock him up with a curveball right there pretty good pitch but he didn't quite get it to come back all the way to the corner that's tough to do for most guys and he will make the play out there and there are two away now stepping in now is Mitch Hanniger. he's driven in 11 runs in the series on nine hits it's really been a sight to watch him at the plate a ball and two strikes to Mitch Hanniger. and it's two balls and two strikes now bases are empty here with two men out Back up the middle and in for a base hit. Some two out success to keep the top of the first alive. The first baseman, Daniel Vogelback. Into the box now. Daniel Vogelback fouled away. Now a swing and a little tapper to the left of the mound. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. And that'll bring up Joey Wendell. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Lifted down the line and left. And that's going to land foul. Here's the one and two delivery. High and deep down the left field line. Gonzalez will get there as he makes the catch in foul territory for the first out. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Jose Martinez hoping to stay hot as he came through with a four hit contest yesterday afternoon. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. So digging in now, Austin Meadows. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. One and two now as that one's fouled off. And now pitch on the way. Look out. That one almost got away from him. Two and two now. Looked like he was a little over aggressive there to throw that nasty curveball. Just needs to slow his delivery down a bit. Brandon Lau would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. But no one can get to this one as it's down for a foul ball inside the visitor's bullpen. High in the air out to center field. Waiting on it is Smith. And that's the third out. Here's cargo Carlos Gonzalez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. A 
one one misses for the second ball. And he can't catch the corner here so he's behind three and one. There's Kyle Seeger in the on deck circle. We'll see him next. Now a ball hit in the air but in play perhaps down the line and no one will track it down. The three two pitch high in the air carrying well out to deep center. Back goes Kiermaier to the track to the wall gone to lead off the inning. to the plate now Kyle Seeger no contact there and it's one and two and they'll try to get him fishing there but he won't offer in the dirt and it's back to even at two and two uh, the struggles continue but that happens when you're not able to locate your secondary pitches you become a one pitch pitcher he needs to start to get those secondary pitches over really fast. Kiermaier patrolling center makes the play one out and that'll bring in Tom Murphy he's been swinging a hot bat in the series with seven base hits coming in the one two a swing and a drive sent out toward the gap and this will kick off the base of the wall and he'll reach second now with one away. The JP Crawford. In now, JP Crawford. A bullet to first base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Next will be the designated hitter, Patrick Wisdom. He too had three knocks in yesterday's win. The set and the 1 1. Oh, that ball's driven into left center. This could be trouble. And this is going to find the seam as it scoots through on the carpet for extra bases. As he arrives at second without a play, as a run will score on the play as well. So now to the plate, D. Gordon. And it's one and two. So far in this game, he's the only guy in the lineup that's gone down on strikes. This is the only guy in the lineup that struck out so far, and now he finds himself in the hole with two strikes. 2-2, two -two, here it is. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance, and the inning is over. Leading off the inning, Brandon Lau, as they'll look to get something going here and even this game up. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. The one-two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So the base is empty here with one away, and that brings up the corner infielder G-Man Choi. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Gonzalez has a read on it. And that's the second out of the inning. Into the box now, Willie Adamas. He'll be trying to duplicate his performance from yesterday when he finished with a four for five line at the plate. The 3 1. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Hanniger in pursuit. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Next for Seattle, Malik Smith. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. One of the keys to securing a win, they want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. On the ground up the middle. And that's a base hit, so the pressure's on to open up the inning. Now batting, right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. At the plate now, Mitch Hanniger. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. All even now, two and two. 
Smith on at first. Nobody out. And the runner back in standing. Now a foul tip right into the catcher's glove as he's able to hang on for the first out. Now back. Striding forward now, the Mariners Daniel. cleanup hitter, Daniel Vogelback. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. There goes Smith. Pitch outside the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. The 2 1 pitch. And the runner's breaking for third. In there, now the throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. That's lifted the other way out to left. Left fielder giving chase. Oh, and this deflects right off him. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. Now back. Left fielder. Carlos. Stepping in now. Carlos Gonzalez. Oh, double play ball to second. Four. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. Up next for Seattle. The third baseman, Kyle. Standing in now, Kyle Seeger. And he comes back with a fastball, one and two now. A bullet to first base. The tag will get him coming back to first. It's a double play, and the inning is over. And that will bring in Yandy Diaz. He's three for seven in the series coming in. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. On deck, the big bat of Mike Zanino. Good battle. Count remains full. Into the windup, ready with the payoff pitch. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Waiting on it is Henniger. Makes the play one away. Here now is Mike Zanino. The catcher. Mike Zanino. He's fallen behind now. Three and one. Three ball count right now. This looks like the best chance of getting a base runner on so far. Now a fastball gets the upper part of the zone for strike two. And a fastball blew it right by him, and there are two down. So here's Kevin Kiermeyer, and he's got that batting lineup near the 300 mark entering play. Here's the 1-1. Try to hold up in time, but to no avail as he went around and the inning is over. New inning set to get underway, and now it'll be the catcher, Tom Murphy. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. So one away here with the now bases that's empty. That's and that brings up the shortstop, JP Crawford. Crawford. Set to deal on two and two. High in the air out to center field. Kiermeyer's got a read on it. He's got it, and there are two down now. Now Stepping in and ready for Number another 22. shot. Patrick Wisdom. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at bat with another big hit right here. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get nets. And he takes a big swing at that one as this one's lifted high in the air and deep out to left field. And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. Into the box now. D. Gordon. Line towards center field. Kiermeyer is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Up next for the Rays, Joey Wendell.
the 1 1 misses inside off the plate boy that's one of the toughest pitches to lay off a hard breaking ball at the back foot tough take on a terrific pitch and the Rays are in the hit column now batter no and now Jose Martinez hit in the air out to left field and there to put it away is Gonzalez and there's your first out one out here in the Tampa Bay fourth and Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. he's set here comes the one one no runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Runners on the move for second. Pitch inside the throw, in time as he just gets the tag down. Late on that one as it's fouled off to the left side. Now the payoff pitch home. And he lost him here on 3-2 as that pitch misses. It's ball four. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Brandon Lau. He's 0 for 1 thus far. The 1-1 home. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. And this one's in the dirt, but it won't skip away far enough for the runner to advance. Here now the 2-2. Hit well on the ground to first. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Brendan McCain, a six-foot, two-inch left-hander, jogs in to take over on the hill. Settling in now, Malik Smith, one for two in the ball game thus far. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. And he lays off the fastball away, so it's two and two now. Here's the pitch. A full count, three balls and two strikes. Not a time to fool around right now on a three-two count with the middle part of the order coming up. Expect a good pitch to swing at. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. A runner at first with no outs here. Strike two called, and it's full three and two. Before the payoff pitch, you look to first. Runner is back. Now a ball grounded to short. This could be two. To second for one. On to first to complete the double play. Dan Vogelbach is next. He singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Two balls and a strike to the Mariners' first baseman. Two balls, one strike. Just behind the fastball there. Two strikes now. The 2-2. Two -two. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. And he lays off a pitch off the plate and high. Three and two. Carlos Gonzalez would be next. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three. And that will retire the side. Standing in, G-Man Choi. He flew out in his last at-bat. The 1-1 home. There's a fastball that misses. Blind to shortstop, and there's one away. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And up next will be Willie Adamas. One out, nobody on. 
fouled off. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. Third baseman number two. Yandy Diaz. At the plate, Yandy Diaz. Now, ball and two strikes now. The one two is a breaking ball that can't find the zone, and it's even at two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. Henniger is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Now batting. Digging in, Mike Zanino looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. 2 1, here it is. Count even at 2 and 2. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Stepping in, Carlos Gonzalez. Two hits in two trips for him thus far. Now the one and one pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Kiermeyer comes on now and he has it one down. Here's the third baseman now, the Kyle Seeger. He's hitless Kyle. in his two at bats so far. The 2 1 home. No, that's down. Ball four. Striding in, Tom Murphy. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ballgame. Tom Murphy. Now the one and one pitch. I'll tell you, it's a helpless feeling for a manager or a pitching coach when your pitchers are having a really hard time throwing strikes. What are you supposed to do other than keep trying new guys until. And the throw is in time to get him to retire the side. Bottom of the inning now, and that means Kevin Kiermeyer will hit next. The 1-1. One, one. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. I think for every player, for every former player, that swing right there is the reason we need to extend the netting without question. Want the fans to be safe. And this is taken in for out number one. Now batter. So the batting order turns over hit. now and set to go. Joey Wendell, he singled his last go. time up. Yeah, Matt, he pressure's off right now. He extended his hitting streak that last plate appearance. Now he gets to get back into his zone, work on his craft, and try and drive something in the gap. And this is hauled in just shy of the track out there for out number two. Now batting, now Jose batting. Martinez. It was a fly out Let's for him in his last trip. Martinez. Two out, nobody on. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You know, over the course of a full season, you're going to have some clunkers, and this certainly looks like one. By the look on the manager's face. Bullet to second base. A fine play, and that ends the inning. Diego Castillo is on his way into the ballgame now as he'll be making his 50th appearance of the year. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that brings up the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. The 2-1 home. Taken, strike two. I got to tell, two and two. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. You do not want to walk the eight-hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt him over to second with the nine-hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. Swung on, but fouled off to the left. The next 3-2. High and deep down the left field line. 
And this will wind up a foul ball. And he'll finally just wear him down as this one swung on and missed for the first down. Now battle. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Patrick Wisdom. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Going back to that last A.B., that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. So back to the top of the Seattle lineup, digging in, D. Gordon. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. Yeah, Matty, but as he walks to the plate right here, he feels good building off that last A.B. He hit that ball on the screws. Now batter. Striding into the box, Malik Smith. A hit in two tries for him so far. Pulled toward right center field. Kiermaier on the run. He's got it. A great running play, and that'll retire the side. Ready to go for the last half of the inning, and standing in the outfielder, Austin Meadows. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. And it's fouled away. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. The 2 2 one more time. Is looked at and the count moves full. Hey, throwing the ball great up until this point. Don't want to allow a leadoff walk. Needs to just focus in on his mechanics right here. Henniger moves to his right and puts this one away in the alley for out number one. Now that Next to bat will be the Tampa eight. Bay cleanup hitter, Brandon Lau. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. And this misses here for ball four. Just the second walk he's issued here into his seventh now inning of work. Eric the Swanson enters to make an appearance he on the mound as he four. inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. G-Man Choi will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. A 1-1. One, one. And the fastball is off his glove and it gets away. And he'll make it in easily at second, as I'd imagine that'll be scored a passed ball. One out and a runner on second base. To two and two now. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad? Not good. Still two and two. From the belt, the pitch. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. In now, Willie Adamas, runner in scoring position with two gone. Uh, could have been three and one. Instead, it's two and two. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. Seeger has it, and that will conclude matters here in the seventh. Chaz Rowe has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 52, Chaz. All set for the start of the inning, and digging in is the outfielder, Mitch Hanniger. And he fouls this one off. Rowe was known as a short relief specialist, a guy who came in, got one or two big outs, but with the new pace of play rules, they're forcing a change for this right-hander. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. Troy is under it to make the catch for the first down. Ready once again, Daniel Vogelback. He's working on a one for three thus far. Here's the one one. Liner in there for a base hit.
At the plate now, Carlos Gonzalez. There's one on to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Yoshihisa Hirano is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Into the box, Yandi Diaz. 0 for 2, he's flown out twice. Pitch to the plate is a splitter that misses, so he's behind in the count now, 3 and 1. Mike Zanino waits on. There's a swing and a drive, and everybody's just going to sit back and watch that one fly. A no doubt home run. To the plate now, Mike Zanino. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind 3 and 1. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Not being very aggressive right now. The 3 2 pitch to short. Throw on to first, so a good comeback there as he gets the first out of the inning. Standing in, Kevin Kiermeyer. He was retired after popping out in his last at bat. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. Look for him to stay a little taller and keep that upper half a little bit more over him. In there, and it's even now, two and two. A full count to the Rays center fielder. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order looming. Fly ball out toward left center field. On the move is Gonzalez. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. Austin Adams is called upon with two out in the eighth as he's asked to complete a four-out save. Joey Wendell digs in now. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Here's the one and one pitch. I got two one to count. Line drive to left. That gets down, and he's got himself a base hit. So with that, we're not done with the bottom of the eighth quite yet. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. Peter Fairbanks enters from the pen to start the ninth inning as he'll try to keep the score right where it is heading to the bottom of the ninth. Into the box, Kyle Seeger. Fastball just missed above the zone. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. I love the ability to hold up right there, especially with count leverage. I know you want to get aggressive in the strike zone, but he was able to notice that that wasn't his pitch. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now back. Ready for another chance? Tom Murphy. Tom Murphy. The one-two. I had to count two and two. Bases are empty, one man out. Hit in the air down the right field line. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. So now to the plate, J.T. Crawford. One and two, the count to the Mariners shortstop. Fouled away. Yanked high and deep down the line in right. And it's a foul ball. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And this runs inside, and that looked like it got him pretty good. 
for the plate now is the designated hitter Patrick Wisdom. He's two for three with a home run and a double. The one two. <laughs> Runners are at first and second with one away. Two two pitches fouled away. From the belt the pitch. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Boy, really making him work now as the seventh pitch of the at-bat is also fouled away, so the count will hold steady at three balls and two strikes. Rocket to third. That's in there. Base hit. Throw comes in quickly here, and that'll prevent the runner at third from testing things here. Jose Alvarado enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Gordon. In now, D. Gordon. Swing and he pops him up. Diaz in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Ball and two strikes. Here it is. And this is swung on and missed. A huge out there as the bases will stay now loaded back. with two Seven away field. now. Malik. Yeah. Payoff pitch on its way. Line down the left field line. But this will be foul. Hit out towards second. Throw on to first will be in time, and the Mariner rally gets turned away as the inning is over. Stepping up now, Jose Martinez. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Hey, not impossible, but highly improbable. Even when you're at home to score three runs off a closer like this guy, they've got the work cut out for him. And that's the first down. Digging in to try it again. Austin Meadows, 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. One and one, here it comes. In there, one and two now. Looking at his lifetime numbers, Meadows brings in a batting average resting just under 320 and will look to inch closer to that mark with a base hit here. Matty, this is one of the best offensive forces in the sport. Not only an amazing batting average, but does it in a variety of different ways with damage. So he notched the backwards K on that one. Austin Meadows goes down, and they've got only one out left to work with. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. Tampa down to their final strike in this one. Two and two. Great take right there, but the last thing you want to do is be called out on strikes to end the game. Just staying alive, putting together a really good at bat here. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Just missed with the 2-2 count, and it runs full now. Fouled off. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a swing, and he pops him up. And this should do it. Crawford waits on it. Makes the catch, and that's the ball game. Yeah, they needed him a little bit earlier in this one, but he takes the mound in the eighth and records the final four outs. Four outs saved. Job well done. And the score finishes 4-1 to one today. The Seattle Mariners took the lead in the second inning and rode that until the very end. Johan Ramirez with his fourth win this season as he goes six-plus innings and allows only a pair of base hits. Tyler Glasnow was only able to work four innings as he takes the loss. Austin Adams records four outs on his way to the save is 22nd.
So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vasquez, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Seattle Mariners, four runs on 11 hits. No errors. They left 10 men on base.